hilarious Jacob Williams, everybody. Jacob Williams, clap it up. All right, thanks. I, um, I got tested for STDs recently, and, uh, and uh, that's not a joke. Um, I, uh, but I don't think when you show up for that, the doctor is supposed to see you and then just say, you got nothing to worry about like, before they do any uh, tests or anything. Um, but she was like, you can either pee in this cup or we can stick a swab in your urethra. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to pee in the cup. I don't really need time to think about it. Or, uh, so like someone was like, you can, have, you can have the steak dinner or we can stick the swab in your urethra. <laughs> I, uh, I don't go to the Apple store anymore because people ask me a lot of questions. I don't really go there. And I got a haircut recently, actually. I was like, hey, can you make me look like a guy who would get married and then take his wife's last name and change that to his last name? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going for. I want to look like I was homeschooled, but I was also one of the children of the corn and I was like a vice president of a Magic the Gathering tournament. I didn't say president, that's just where my, where my self-esteem is at, I guess. Um, but I did, uh, I saw a really ugly couple in the subway, they were very in love too, and I was like, ah, oh, and then like, uh, at the same time. I was like, so happy they found each other so they don't have to talk to anyone else now. And, and, um, but I was lost, I asked this guy, I was like, should I take the train going this way or that way? He's like, you should take the one going that way. And then like, I thought about it, like, it's weird because I didn't tell him where I was going or anything, but... Uh, then I realized he was wrong, but I didn't want to be rude, so I still got on the train going the wrong way. I just had to get off at the next stop and take it back, but then he saw me through the window, so I didn't really <laughs> anything, but, uh, but I, I do like, I like doing comedy. I'll be doing some comedy later in my set tonight, but I, I tried some other things. I, I took care of a diabetic cat. That was one of my first jobs, and I had to get the insulin shots, and uh, it was difficult, you know. It wasn't like the cat was super on board with this, like, oh yeah, I love it when this <laughs> giant stranger who looks like the kid from the Christmas story that comes to my house and just stabs him and I put the needle and then just leaves. That's my favorite. And I felt like I was playing in a scavenger hunt and they're like, by the way, if you don't win the game, someone dies. And you only get paid five dollars plus whatever you can steal from your friend's house without them noticing. So, but I um I had this one. I did real estate for a while. I just wanted something more stable, so I started doing stand-up comedy. And I, uh, I would get all these lectures at that job. Like my boss would say things like, you know, it seems like you only come into work when you feel like it. I was like, actually, that's not true because I never feel like I'm going to work. So technically, I come in slightly more times than that. But the last time I talked to him, he was like, you got to make some changes. I'm like, what's he going to do? Fire me? Which it turns out, yeah, that's exactly. What I'm my goal at that job was to work the least amount where I wouldn't get fired, which I don't know what that amount is, but now I know what the amount right below that is. <laughs> I got fired from an unpaid internship one time. I didn't know that could happen. Uh, it's like they were saying, like, you're fine, but we're going to go with uninhabited space. <laughs> I just feel like you're less productive than a safety void. I've tried other things like acting. I, I usually get cast as a background extra. People saw my acting and they're like, we think this works better if you don't say anything. And you can stand really far away to actually this is an office scene where I'm not sure if you're gonna be believable as someone who has a job. But I was an extra in a play in high school. I don't think they're supposed to have extras in that situation, but they told me I got the part of Alan in Greece, and if you saw the movie Greece, you might not remember Alan because he wasn't in it. And uh, I made up that character to make me feel better. And, my parents came to the play. They were in the audience, so they had the same amount of lines that I had. So that was kind of cool. but I was looking for auditions on Craigslist recently because things are going really well right now. And I, uh, they were looking for someone to play this character in a short movie. It was just described as like mid twenties, white male who doesn't have sex a lot and might have autism. And, uh, and the character's name was Jacob, which is my name. And I realized it was written by my old roommate. And then I was, a little bit offended, but then I was like, actually, I might be able to get this part. And so, I showed up. He's like, oh, you're already dressed and talking in character. You know, uh, I, uh, I've done some weird shows recently. I, I did a show for a bachelorette party, and they didn't tell the bride there was going to be a comedian, so she was really confused when I showed up. She's like, did you guys just have a low budget for strippers? I 
just pay them to not take any clothes off. And, uh, they didn't have like a, a microphone. They had a penis straw, which doesn't really amplify your voice. It was plugged on though, which was kind of weird. But um, there was this, there was like an older lady hitting on me after that show, but she was a lot older than me, like not like a cougar, but like a saber tooth tiger. <laughs> I, um, I got a letter through certified mail recently and I went to the post office with a certified mail slip and I was like, hey, I'd like to pick up the letter that goes with this. And they're like, well, we need a piece of mail with your current address on it. I was like, actually, the certified mail slip is a piece of mail <laughs> that has my current address on it. That's why I have it. I think you guys were the ones that sent it to me, actually. And it's said to come here, I didn't sneak into someone's house. Like, oh man, I really want to steal an errand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need one more piece of mail with your current address on it. I'm like, well, there is one more, but it's in the back of your <laughs> post office right now. That's kind of why I'm here. So you can go and get that and bring it out here. <laughs> And that'll actually solve both of our problems. And I'm not going to back down on this. It's either my way or the highway. And so I'm on the highway after that. And I got stuck in traffic. I was so mad. I was like, oh man, I wish everyone in front of me would just die. I was like, I don't mean that actually, because then traffic would be a lot worse. But I. Um, it was during the winter, I ended up getting pulled over, and uh, there was a lot of snow and salt on my license plate, and the cop was like, hey, did you know I can't read your license plate? I was like, no, I didn't know that. I probably wouldn't have pulled over. <laughs> I was like, I have to give you a citation. I'm like, that is fine. I thought you were going to give me a ticket, but if you just want to use me in your essay, then that is okay. I can verify my new address. I've got two letters right here. <laughs> 